In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your first event, and then we're going to get into event tracks and some other kind of cool features that are going to show you how you can repeat events and have them recur at a regular interval. So uh, I'm going to go to events and click to get to the overview panel, and here I'm going to click all events, and you'll see in my list that I have no events at the moment. Uh, so let's go ahead and click create a new event. And here I can see two different kinds of events. I've got a basic event and a service. We'll get into uh, you being able to create definitions of other events and have your own event types soon. Uh, but for now, I'm going to click basic event. And here I can type in the title. This is a tutorial event. And my subtitle, I can add some extra information. Um, this is an awesome event where we learn about the uh, the start date, I'm going to choose today and I'm going to choose 9.30 at night and we'll change the end date to be uh, 10.30 uh, 10 at night as well. And I'm going to leave the time zone blank so it will use my uh, account time zone and then I can go through all of the other settings whether it's a live stream, whether it's in partic held in particular locations and rooms uh, whether there's images and social media artwork and links and things like that. I can also add registrations and expected people to this event and ticketing, messaging, a uh, whole bunch of other stuff that we'll get into in later videos. For now, I'm going to click Save and it's going to ask me which realm do I want to put this event in. So if this event is relevant for all campuses, I'll just tick each campus that it's relevant for. But for now, I'm just going to put it in the Melbourne campus, click Done and click Save. And now we will see our event. So our event's just here, it's 9.30 p.m. And uh, yeah, there are, there's our event. Now, um, let's say we want to create some other different kinds of events. I'm just going to click up here where it says event and get this drop down menu. I'm going to click define a new type of event. Uh, for this, I'm going to create a new type, uh, what we call a definition. I'm going to call this a small group meeting. And here, uh, we'll do a description about what this definition is. Uh, this is the kind of event where small groups meet up. It's fairly self-explanatory. I can go to Manage Fields here and add extra fields. We'll get into this in another video about definitions. Um, and for now, I'm just going to put this in the head office. We usually put definitions up quite high so that people can't alter them unless they have access. And I'm going to click Save. And now we have a small group meetings. So I can view all events, which will show me all of my events down here. I can look at services or I can look at small group meetings. And here I'm going to click new event and it'll ask me, do I want to create a, an event, a service or a small group meeting? And if I click create small group meeting, it basically gives me the same options. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm creating a small group meeting instead of a normal event. So that's all well and good. Now we're going to go into event tracks. Uh, if I go to events and then go to event tracks, here I can set up what we call an event track, which is a uh, repeating event. It's kind of a template for an event that can repeat at a regular schedule and also have some other kind of basics set up so that you can um, leave the system to create events uh, on every Wednesday or Tuesday or Sunday or uh, whatever you need. Um, so let's click create a new event track and this I'm going to call this the Sunday morning service and we can give it a subtitle if we need uh, but I'm going to go to event tire event defaults and here I can set up when events are created on this track uh, all the kind of templated information that I want to be repeated on each event so I can choose the image I can choose the default time it's going to start at 10 a.m. go for 120 minutes and check-in is going to open 90 minutes earlier and close 90 minutes later. I can add locations and plans and you know who's expected at these kind of events and all that kind of stuff. Uh, for now, I'm just going to go down to the Auto Create tab. I'm going to click On. And here I'm going to say I want five events, um, the number of future events. This means that there's always going to be five Sunday morning services in future. I can change this to 20, I can change this to 2, if you want a whole year's worth, we can change it to 52. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave it at 5. And the start date can be now, I'm not going to have an end date, I'm just going to leave that, so it just continually creates these events. And here I can choose the definition, where I can choose, is it a basic event, or a service, or a small group meeting. 
um, I'm just going to call it a service and I want this to repeat every week on Sunday at 10 a.m. and I'm going to click select realms this is going to be the Melbourne campus Sunday morning service so we'll just do that and we'll hit save and now we get our Sunday morning service and if I click that actually if I click the uh, we'll just get back and click, click the three dots ellipsis here I can view the Sunday morning service and this will have created those Sunday morning services for me so you can see I've got 2nd of August, 9th of August, 16th of August, 23rd of August, 30th of August now as these event tracks uh, as these events finish when this event finishes the event track will automatically create another one in its place a week after this one so from now on these events will just keep repeating and it makes it very easy for us to uh, keep track and of statistics as well as uh, just make sure that we've got the events created in the future for us to edit and change. I can now click each of these events and change the information on them. Um, they, they are their own individual things. So if I click into here, I can change all the details for this specific event, add its own imagery and details and all of that. And likewise, if I go to event tracks, I can go into here and change all the default details so that uh, when the new events uh, are created, they'll get that information. Thanks for watching.